Look at guys the room. Look at the LED. Look at the ceiling. It goes all around, dude. I am so shocked how long they are that I end up getting extra ones. I'm not actually gonna finish it out right now with the extra one. That's just one ribbon. One ribbon and it starts behind the actual computer. I put it here on the side. It goes all around. That's just one ribbon covering the entire room almost. So very impressed with it. Today we're gonna bring the flex, flexible LED light strips. Now this is pretty good if you're gonna set this up in an environment that uh, you have to readjust some of the corners, maybe you know curve some of the areas and you wanna make sure you have that flexibility. This is actually a good thing. So surrounding yourself with LEDs, lights, if you're gonna be streaming or you just want it for aesthetics like in your garage or if you want it at your home or your kitchen or anywhere, this is a pretty good thing. Now there's a couple of features you should know before we do that and then there's a light changing and we're gonna go into in depth a little bit more how to set it up and how to work it out. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what you get. Just to let you guys know, the vendor was kind enough to send this out for us to test it. So hope you guys enjoy what it's included in here. So let's open it up. If you guys can see, they actually give you a logo design here. And this is a good thing because what you're gonna do is with your phone, you click on the picture and this will take you to the actual application that you're gonna require for controlling of the system. But if you don't have that, you don't need it. You could, uh, they include a remote here that does the same thing that the actual controller does. But a lot of people like to set up their Alexa or their Google Home systems to um, adjust it. You can do that manually. Now, there is some interaction with this. If you guys can see, this is the IRA connection for the actual control. And there's a couple of modules here for the actual LED light. So you could split them into different areas or get an extension. Now, they are gonna require power on one end and that's where the power uh, search protector comes in here. And then we're gonna connect it to it. And this is a power brick, if you guys can see that. Now. Before you plug it in, uh, my recommendation, if you want to control some of the stuff through your phone, you download this application, uh, make sure you register. And the, they make a lot of different um, LED items that you might need in the future. Uh, so let's take a look at it and see how it works. So first of all, they don't give you one, but they give you two strips of, of, of LED. And these are the longest ones I've seen uh conjoined in a box to be honest with you and it looks like more like a film and i'm gonna put the description how long they are uh so th these are actually pretty good so if you just need one you could just connect one to one of the items but like i said if you want to have two of them and split in one way maybe in the center you can do that that's why they give you these two now this is very important where you're going to plug them in there's a little arrow right indicating that that's where you actually start now on one end of the led light if you guys can see, I'm gonna show you a little bit, a little indication here. On the, there's a little, it shows you right here where it actually starts, and it has a plus 12 V, so that's 12 volts, and then you're gonna start the unit from here. So when you plug it in, uh, make sure the arrow points the correct way before, and you have to just drive in four points into the actual uh, system, and you're able to connect it. So what we want to do is take a picture of the actual icon, and I'm gonna bring it here. Look for the application and there it found the application it's going to take me either a, a ios store or joy uh, uh, or the droid applications right now it's asking me to download it and uh it's going to take you to the correct area we already own the application so all you got to do is uh you could download from here directly it's called tuya smart or like i said make sure you get it ahead and register it so let's go ahead and open it up and reg and set this up first now it's giving you a couple of things if you have alexa in your home you could manually control these with the you could automatically control these with alexa so that's a great indication now there is a setup for um, google home but it's a little bit more you have to go through the google home applications to set those up so we could always set it up or get started but today we're going to skip it out now the power cord is not that long it's about three feet long so you might need an extension so right now at the moment we're just going to plug in one of the strips so you guys can see how every, all three of them combined together including with the actual remote with all right we're going to go ahead and do just the lighting itself and with the remote i'm gonna actually see if, if i can put the remote a little bit closer to a lighting uh here it goes with the remote we're going to actually change a couple of things we could turn it off completely all right completely turn it off if you guys can see it and then i could turn it back on and then from there we could control different colors uh rgb lighting we could just put red if you want and we're going to go in green uh, blue I believe and then the last one is white and then we could have different modes right here they give you a couple modes 
I'm going to do the flash, storm. Oh no, this is store, but I'm sorry. And this is fade. And then smooth. I'm going to do smooth. And then, like I said, we could change the lighting. We're going to go back to the static. We go to the white. And we're gonna, we could tone down the white. We could actually uh, control the lumens here. So we're going to uh, decrease the lumens here. And if you can. All right, to set up on your phone, you're going to have to need the control. And you're going to have to hold down the button to the control for a couple of seconds. Just hold down the on button, all right? So by holding down the on button, you just hit the device. It starts flashing. You hit add because it automatically discover. You put in your password and then for your Wi-Fi, and that's pretty much it. Just make sure you're aware that it doesn't work on 5.2 hertz. It has to be a lower than that, all right? So let's go ahead and set it up. And we're able to control now. We hit done. And we're able to control everything for with our phone or an Alexa. Uh, we could turn down the lights if you want. So right now, what I'm going to do is I can mess around with the lighting itself. And I'm going to change the tone, if you guys can see it. Go back and forth, go back and forth, and then change the color. Lower it down to the lowest, to the highest. And then change green. We could change all the colors that we want in here. We could turn them off, turn the mic on. Change the tones if you want, purple. And then this is a great thing to have if you guys can see. I'm going to show you guys here. On this device, you have for all the colors, all right? We're going to go red, orange, yellow, green. And we could change any color that we want pretty much. You know, just mess with the color. And the brightness, you can mess with the brightness if you want. It's up to you. Go in and out on this device. Now, we could change the tones if we want. We could do different modes that they have included in there. Um, this is actually a pretty good one. So this one I'm going to be talking and it's going to be, or play music. If you say one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So if you're streaming and you want things in the background to be lighting up, this is something thing you can do. Or if you want aesthetics when you are playing some music and you want to make sure that the lights are changing the mode, this is perfect. And if you guys can see, it's also changing on my control here. Now, when you come in here, you can set up a schedule. You can set up a timer and, and pretty much turn this off on itself or keep continue on. So right now, we're going to go ahead and, and go back to the normal ones. Finally fished, finished it. Look at that. Perfect rounding. Now, I'm missing maybe like three inches, three or four inches off of it. And it would have connected, but I was a little short on it. But you guys can see it goes. There's two ribbons already going all around all around um don't have any there but it goes here it goes through the door it goes in the bottom of the door behind the desk all behind the desktop um you guys can see the lights go in the bottom so we've spin them put them around and pretty much set it up for gaming this could be a gaming room right here that's pretty much what it is showing all the stuff up so hope you guys enjoyed the video.